Off the north coast of Puerto Rico, CSA marine biologists enter the ocean from a survey vessel. These marine biologists are monitoring coral reefs and other marine ecosystems throughout Puerto Rico's coastal waters to document conditions of these habitats in areas that may be influenced by human activities. Locations along the coast are selected for monitoring. These are called monitoring stations. The monitoring station in this video is visited twice a year by marine biologists. The captain of the survey vessel uses a GPS to navigate to each monitoring station. Once the vessel has arrived to the station, a buoy is dropped and the divers follow the buoy down to the sea floor. Metal stakes are installed into the sea floor at each monitoring station. Divers locate these stakes and use them to set up transects or lines by stretching and measuring tape between them. Here we see the transects have already been located and set up. Now the marine biologist will begin to collect the monitoring data. One biologist is recording video along the transect with a special video camera designed for use underwater. This strip of the seafloor is recorded and compared to previous recordings of the exact same strip of seafloor from previous surveys in order to document changes over time. Percent cover of corals, algae, sponges, and other sea life are calculated from the video and the number of corals are also counted. Another method utilized in coral reef monitoring is the photo quadrat method. Here the biologist places a square frame or quadrat over a specific location, also marked with the metal stakes. A photo is taken of the sea floor within the quadrat frame by using an underwater camera. Percent cover of corals, algae, sponges, and other sea life are calculated from the photos. Just like the video, the photos provide a record of a specific location on the seafloor over time. Coral reefs provide food and shelter for a variety of fishes. Here we can see a squirrel fish and a file fish dart into the reef. Notice the brightly colored sponges and corals. Under the ledge, we see several species of tropical reef fishes, including a squirrel fish, a grunt, an angelfish, and small puffer fish. Reef fishes seek shelter and hide from predators under ledges. Here we see a beautiful pair of French angelfish, which are known to mate for life. Due to many different stressors, coral reefs around the world and in Puerto Rico have declined. By collecting scientific data and monitoring corals and other sensitive marine habitats, we can document these changes over time. When we understand these changes, we may better protect these habitats for the future.